A very good afternoon to you all. I am Jyotsna, moderator of this webinar, eighth in the series presented by Manav Human Atlas. I am pleased to welcome yet again Dr. Shastri, Scientist G at National Center for Cell Science. This webinar is in continuation with the previous one, a part two, conducted uh, uh, on game theory applications in biology. In the first part, we got acquainted with the concept of game theory and understood the underlying logic and how to analyze situations. In the second part, we will see a few examples uh, that are representative of outstanding thinking. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Sastri, over to you. Uh, before this, I would like to make a quick announcement. I believe uh, Dr. Shastri will be asking you questions to Uh, uh, and we learned about some of the basics of game theory and how that thing many things about in a popular example called a hawk and dog some of the questions i have received uh, through uh, through the panelists was that look what are hawk and dog no hawk and dog are strategies of a homogeneous population meaning that everyone is a dog okay but somebody grabs things from someone else he behaves like a hawk we call it and those strategies that okay when you ask it you give it okay so it is these are strategy names not per se that you have some other population that is playing against another population okay so let, let's remove it so in that we learned about what are payoffs a payoff is payoff is against a strategy what you get if a, if you are playing a hawk strategy that means that i try to grab from someone else then against another person grabbing this is what i get the payoff and against a dog i get this if i'm playing like a dog and then against a hawk i get nothing and that's how we evolved it okay we also said about what is truly an evolutionary stable strategy and I, will, I gave an example that how birds when they fly away from the branch when a hunter comes and shoots at them the best strategy for them available is you know they can run away i believe there is a question so i asked in that one i think i gave an explanation explanation is that if birds can do anything without flying sitting on the branch and be safe from a hunter's arrow i'm sure that becomes the evolutionary stem till that time evolutionary stable strategy is to run away from there okay we call it now we will learn slowly a different okay so now before getting into today's topic as evolution of cooperation in social scenarios in bacteria importance of defection and game theory and pandemics okay so i have lots of examples to give but i will not be able to cover all of them but again i will stress examples related to cooperation and especially a realistic examples people observed, including our own lab, okay? And of course, Professor Nagra suggested us to talk about a little on pandemics, okay? So I will present one paper on that one. First question, okay? How many of you have really helped your parents at home when they have not asked you to do so, okay? Like, for example, I would say that, uh, you know, yeah, your father asked you uh, if uh, you to you cleaned a bike even without your father asking you. Okay, or how many times have you given out money in your pocket to a needy person? Maybe we did. Okay, but how many times have you really done something? Okay, you did something without being asked. Why am I asking this question? We will see. While whether that is relevant or not in the next year. See, in this talk, I'm going to use some terminologies, okay? The terminologies are a cooperator is like a person, me or you, any of you, okay? It provides a benefit, okay? Or I will say public good. Again, I will going to define this term, term at a later point of time, okay? to other individuals at some cost. Exactly cleaning the bike for your father uh, or maybe folding the clothes your mother has 
kept it away without she coming and telling you that you know i she you don't even go and tell her that i did this because that means that you are doing for something else a defector is a person who receives the benefit okay given by operators and never give it to others okay remember this sentence a cooperative act describes a situation in which cooperator acts to incur the cost to all other other people cost here it can be anything it could be energy it could be metabolically something physiological consequence it can be even money okay again strategy is an approach a bacterium or an individual entity chooses to maximizing its fitness remember you you act everything to maximize its fitness okay your fitness okay we come back to you know certain examples last last time we said that if if you are doing agnes playing agnes the majority strategy okay if you are doing better that dom that strategy begins to dominate it but if you are a minority a small one you are always losing it out just like the dow if you always play a dow agnes the dow you will always do better but among the dows one of the mutation happened that this dog begins to behave like a hawk eventually such population will do better over many generations so you will start seeing hawks emerging and invasion invading a population of dog okay so this is what we are calling an ess you know there are numerous numerous examples for game theory i already talked in my last talk on hawk and dog game okay today we will talk about another very very important game you know each one of them each one of them has a meaning for example we call it stag hunt is a coordination game i will tell in the end snow drift game okay again another important game which i will i will discuss in this one essentially game theory is also also popular or um, people often usually use it for as an evolutionary game theory because for many generations what is going to prevent you are going to predict it or how people are going to behave so one of the most popular game among all of them is called a prisoner's dilemma okay in a prisoner's dilemma game is interesting two guys okay a and b this red and blue and orange were caught for an offense they are possessing some kind of arm but the prosecutor thinks that you know these guys are probably involved in another very big robbery but he has no proof on that so he takes them to a separate room and tells them that you know you confess it saying that you cooperate with me that the other guy has done it produce evidence i will walk you will walk free okay or you will walk free and whatever the sentence which you are supposed to serve that fellow will serve okay that means that if you will walk free and instead of you the other guy will serve probably 20 years in prison why 15 15 because you cooperated with me exactly the same thing happens with the opposite let's say you remain silent and don't confess it the other guy confesses it blue confess then he will walk free and then you will serve the sentence 20 years but you know if both of you don't agree meaning you don't cooperate with me meaning defy okay because the prosecutor doesn't have much strong evidence for that bigger crime okay they are convicted for a smaller crime but if you both confess instead of 20 years in prison i will fight with the court and reduce the prison sentence to just 5 years that is a reward you are getting for 15 years okay so now what should you do if you think that if i am going to confess decide uh, if i am going to cooperate then what will happen if the other guy defects it okay other guy defects it then only i can walk free but if i cooperate and the other guy defects it the same thing that will happen here now i defect meaning i don't agree but other guy cooperates it, then he will walk free then i am going to stay inside how am i sure that when i am cooperating he is also cooperating that then both will get benefit but if we both defect meaning that i don't agree then what will be the choice for the other fellow 
there is no better choice for him that for than for him to defect either that means that the both will end up so how does this kind of scenario evolve cooperation although rational people we expect them to cooperate but defect is an evolutionary stable strategy and it is also called the nash equilibrium okay i will talk about nash equilibrium in the in the following slides here what this is a simple numerical numbers which we are seeing it but how am i supposed to do if i am trying to solve every other problem okay this is a mathematical notation when two cooperators cooperate with each other there is a cost involved in it. i just said that that cost okay this cost is has to be subtracted from the benefit they actually receive that's why it is b minus c but a defector always gets the benefit because he doesn't contribute to anything cooperator always incurs a cost when he against the this cost he has to incur so in this there has to be this is called an inequality temptation for reward it always has to be better okay temptation always temptation for defection always has to be maximum compared to the reward okay compared to the punishment and compared to the sucker spread off why this inequality is very important is that for example say in the same prisoner's dilemma again if i go and take this both these fellows to beat them and then you agree that one then they both we know that such kind of confession collapse in court in india we see it often okay meaning that people people are extracted their confessions by not by their choice but by their as a forced the extraction they often collapse in the court because every lawyer knows this by the way this is the way us and other uh, advanced countries use this ploy to extract confession okay so trps now how am i going to say how do, how this how this thing is related to the few ex the first questions i asked in the beginning that is when did you go and wash your bike father's bike even when he did not ask you to do so or you cleaned his car you have the temptation for not doing that work don't worry and your father did not say that i'm going to punish you because if you have not washed the car okay then against what you are going to evolve cooperation being a cooperator you are investing your time in cleaning that vehicle putting your energy and making it look good that is the what is very very important cooperation always has to evolve against temptation for defection meaning not doing that then only genuine cooperation evolves it you understand it another example i can give it is that for example a person working in a sweet shop okay the owner did not put any kind of video cameras whether you eat and you eat and let do or not he did not count when he is going out of his shop the shop he did not count how many ladoos were there he did not even question and importantly you are not diabetic meaning i am not eating this sweet because i am diabetic if i am diabetic then i will not have temptation all that temptation i am worried about my health no i can eat the entire basket of ladoos there on my cell because i am not diabetic but yet i have not touched anything you try to overcome that temptation remember this is true in most all by every social scenario cooperation always has to evolve against maximal temptation for defection okay then only that kind of cooperation sustains it do you recollect the first example which i gave in the wrong side driving i gave three conditions right the three conditions are there was no policeman there was no video surveillance and there were no ditches meaning that the road is empty no policeman no video camera and nothing i still drove on the right side of the road went took a u turn came back on that when uh, you can exhibit that kind of behavior you don't need policeman okay so we'll come to every one of these important things now let's say i am talking the same prisoner's dilemma 
into a seminar what has happened here i am speaking for one hour and you want to spend one hour you want to gain something so when you ask a question when you discuss it we both gain corporate corporate both are spending incurring the cost i am incurring the cost of teaching and you are incurring the cost of learning no both different meaning that neither you are interested in listening what i am saying i am not interested in answering any of the questions so when you cooperate when i cooperate if you defect maybe you will get benefit i get nothing similarly when you are interested in asking a question i am not interested in answering that question we can now imagine the dilemma right right now we are going through the prisoner's dilemma again you can you see that the application of empathy can be as simple as right now okay so the more questions you ask at the end of the uh, webinar okay the more benefit you will that means that we both will be here ideally this is the nash equilibrium okay we'll come you i have already used this word nash equilibrium twice maybe three times okay then what is the sequence then a nash equilibrium is a scenario where no player can change their strategy unilaterally while the other person's strategy remains unchanged meaning you will not get any benefit out of changing your strategy i know that you have not understood it you will not understand it that easily okay so first let's look at what is nash equilibrium definition okay i will tell about this great man nash it is a solution concept here non cooperative game any is a set of strategies one play that no player has incentive to change his her strategy given what the other player is doing sometimes knowing your other person's strategy also doesn't change anything you will get it from princeton university where nash works as a mathematician okay this is a definition which most of the times which economists use it a stable state of system involving interaction of different participants in which no participant can gain by unilateral change of strategy if the strategies of the other person remain unchanged remember the beauty of nash equilibrium is they are self enforcing meaning you don't need police to enforce them now let's ask a question do bacteria get policed by anybody or a pathogen gets policed by anybody but they follow their rules they know that by changing their strategy they are not going to do any better we'll see an example later on okay so now let's look at i have already said about pretend that police don't exist government passes a law that you should not drive on the wrong side of the road if everyone follows that law that is an actual thing okay now let's look at really what can happen in a way, what is the true nash equilibrium here you are driving a car blue car and the other guy is driving a red car and we both reach the signal light okay when the signal light is green for you you go red he go he has to stop here correct right? now let's look at what happens if these are simultaneous decision both drivers will take and remember there is no communication between these two i said there is no communication right between these two drivers same condition also applies to the prisoners the prosecutor told both prisoners in separate room understand so you don't know but he, he assumed that he prosecutor told this first prisoner here that i told the same thing to the second one genuinely let's believe that he told both of them there is no communication between these two if both of them he has a green light okay but he comes and stops here he has a red light so he also has to stop there that is a this scenario both of them are waiting for nothing all the years a green light but since he has a green light he is ready to go and this guy has a red light and but he wants to jump the red light then what will happen both of them will end up crashing their car and that is going to be a very costly affair but when he has why well, even he has green light what should the other guy do okay when he has green light go 
the other guy will wait here and exactly the same thing happens here when it is a red light for him he will stop here the other guy this so what is the true nash equilibrium based on the definition let's look at the same analysis okay when he has green light okay if he stops what will happen he is getting delayed and for no reason he is getting delayed so he is not doing any better by changing his strategy no he has red light okay but he wants to go change his strategy to go he may end up here in this collision both stopping anyway is not it has no meaning because both are delaying for no reason so in this game these two strategies are a nash equilibrium meaning no player can do any better by changing the strategy while the other person's strategy remains unchanged okay this is called mutual best response maybe it took a little bit time for you to understand but you know that jumping a red light is in your own best interest i just want to quote another simple example two people are selling bindi in a sabji mandi they are sitting side by side they are not related i will come to that question when what happens when they are related okay they don't have any incentive to do anything but their bindi is bindi is looking good meaning both are excellent nice impressive produce okay if both have 10 kilograms what will happen their 10 kilograms is nothing but 40 pounds if they have to sell at 20 rupees a pound they will make 800 rupees right very simple mathematic 14 to 20 800 rupees but in order to grab the customers if one person changes unilaterally to 80 rupees then what will happen he may change to 80 rupees to grab all the customers now in order to bring customers either his price has to be 80 rupees or 16 rupees if he reduces to 16 then what he, he will do because when a random customer walks he says that 18 and he says 16 so you uh, will won't buy from here right but in that response he makes it 14 then he makes it 12 in that response eventually let's say both of them settle to 10 rupees remember 10 rupees is the acquisition price at which they produce that brindi in their cost so by changing unilaterally from this 20 rupees did they gain now this another scenario changing unilaterally okay he will say 25 rupees he will say 20 whom will you buy obviously you will buy from him right if he is related then you will be paying 5 rupees more don't forget that no another scenario he changed it to price to 15 rupees he changed it to 20 whom will you buy you will obviously buy from 15 rupees person so 20 20 rupees is the nash equilibrium price in a sabji mandi on a given day so now you ask a simple question in a in a mandi when you go there there are 100 bindi vendors okay do any one of them change their price so if you go to any one person you know that that price is not going to be any different right it's a very simple logic it doesn't need to be a great thinking but important thing is that when somebody is selling it at 25 rupees maybe he, he thinks that his bindi is high quality he will try to give but it may not be but another person he wants to dispose of whatever he has it maybe he will sell it for 10 rupees but you know that an average nash equilibrium price in a in a vegetable market is very very easy because neither of them has any incentive to deviate from that 20 rupees remember okay when they start improving it then they the company that we are their uh, company will start making better profits this is also what we call bottom lines of a company today i can sell something i made this much profit tomorrow also if I, i should sell something and make the same kind of profit tomorrow so so in a what the what happened a unilateral deviation from an equilibrium is not beneficial to either of the participants that's why nash equilibria self enforcing 
police don't need to say that you have to sell it at 20 rupees a pound. There is no need for him, right? Nobody sits there and tells them that you have to sell it at this price. That is your choice. Okay, if the ongoing price is 25 rupees, then he's selling at 20. He is not going to make any better profit than. Okay, there are situations in which how much you should pay, when you should take that decision. These are all part of the subsequent, or a subsequent part of the discussion. Okay, but I will answer any questions when you have it. Okay, this is a again game theory. One of the practical example I am quoting in my own organization. Okay, in my organization, sorry, in my organization, you have to go from this side to this side. You have to go like that. The total distance was 114 meters. Okay, if you go from here to here, meaning walk across here, that is about 22 meters. The architect, when he was making a garden here this side and a garden that side, I felt that that the garden has no meaning. I knew as a game theory person that garden is not going to survive. Reason. When you have to operate as a person operating, you have to walk 114 meters all the distance. But when you defect, meaning you don't want to care for that grass, you will walk these 20 meters, okay, between this, because that costs only 22 meters. So cost to benefit when you calculate it, you will notice that within three generations, everyone is walking on the grass and the grass in reality did not survive, okay? So after spending good amount of thinking, the architect went back and said, okay, I'll make a path from here to here. Now, can you imagine how game theory can begin to tell you? When you do a simple calculation, you know that everyone will defect, okay? And this calculation is same as what we have been doing all along everywhere. And this is a right in front of eyes. This is an example that we could spot it. Okay. When I was leaving, closing down the talk last last week, I gave this example that, right? Which all of you have seen this video. I asked you to read. You know what happens? At that time, I asked this couple of questions. What exactly? Okay. Sorry. Uh, I have to, I think, maybe. Okay, what, exa what exactly I have uh, said it in the, in the talk, in that video. I, I said that you, you, you take note of the, you take note of the boy's behavior when he was giving the talkie to him, right? Maybe I will, I will tell. This boy thinks that he has a toffee and he takes the decision to give it to this orphan sitting on the road. In the end, what happened in the video? He, gets, he gives a big, nice smile. It's a pleasure he got it. This is an example for altruism, meaning that Without asking somebody, you gave some money to somebody in the needy person. So now the question is that when, how does the altruism comes into picture? Altruism also is a sort of cooperation. Whatever you have it, you gave it to the other person. How does altruism happens in reality? And how does altruism happens in bacteria? I'm going to now give you an example. Okay. I will come to that. An important point here that comes to thinking was, I'm going a little fast today. The reason is that I have many examples to cover. It's called a public good, okay? Public goods is that provides a very important example of market failure in which market-like behavior of individual gain seeking does not produce efficient results. Production of public goods, what is a public good? He asked this question, okay, public good is a good road, correct? 
but if i on a good road i go and put my tent and i want to live there then what happens it whatever you made it that road as a good for the use of everybody is now not going to work for everyone somebody selfishly out paying the road same thing is true for payments if you had start allowing people to start selling things on the pavement what happens is you lost uh, you lost an important public good a company went and put a nice fountain and the uh, and the lawn in a roundabout in a four road junction somebody goes and starts living there what happens is these are all public goods public good is you do certain acts to give certain benefit to the individuals okay without it extracting anything does the same thing happens really in bacteria you would be questioning or you will be having a doubt yes the answer is yes okay when something is available for free what would you like to do you would simply take if there are at the end of this meeting if there are some who are kept everyone for free maybe everyone we expect that everyone will take one samosa and one cup of tea and go but what will happen if a person picks up two samosas after seeing the first person picks two samosas the next one will pick probably three and remember there is no body standing there as a policeman no one is watching whether you are taking one samosa or two samosa right so eventually by the time four or five people the samosas will be empty this is called free riders defectors okay how does defectors this kind of problem comes in any resource when it is available for free okay it will not sustain what is the resources that are available for free in reality fishing the fishing the sea are free anybody can go and do it so now i go and do fishing uncontrollably then what will happen you will you will not get any fish to uh, any fish for further generations or maybe the breeding will slow down dramatically that's why no fishing is allowed in certain parts in the world between march and something like around june mid june or sometimes mid may depending on the region because you have to allow sufficient time for breeding to take place the free riders always happen in our society okay but somebody providing a public good somebody is just simply exploiting it work out all the time okay so we will come to that point also ending is true okay public goods is also an example where you passion your own society are in a road what will happen roads will become filthy because there is nobody there to monitor that one okay so now i think enough of that examples now we go into specific biological examples in that we said that public good defection uh, uh, cooperation has to evolve against maximal temptation for defection this is the statement i made just a while ago so then you would ask the question how cooperation evolves we have already said cooperation has to evolve in its maximal temptation for defection when a cooperation two people are cooperating with like the prisoner okay they might have done good to them but knowing that you don't know what the other person will do you will defect it but how does cooperation evolve in bacteria that is a question we are interested in how these gene theory apply to bacteria right so then in a struggle for competition do you think that will somebody sacrifice for somebody else altruism why does defection thrive does cheating pay off these are all the questions that are extremely relevant to in understanding pathogenesis okay i will just show a, a video just watch it you will see that 
you will see that the baby elephant fell in a pool parents rescued it by jumping you know what if the parents also drown or if they have left that baby allowed to drown what would have happened the trait would not have passed on to other generations that we should go on help that one that is altruism the mother really find risk these lives to go back and this to the offspring okay there is a relation similarly we all we, if you go to a national geographic channel or if you go to anywhere else the building monkeys will give a scream when the predator is nearby what is it doing it is revealing its own location to the predator that i am here okay but its call passed on to the its its, uh, its colleagues or its sect is very very important that they will run away okay predator came and uh, attacked it but only one died what would have happened if it did not go it didn't uh, doesn't give a, an alarm call it has seen the predator so it will lie silent but another one okay which has not seen the predator it is going to get it is going to get consumed by the predator then slowly slowly same thing will happen the effect is not going to increase their numbers meaning reproductive fitness does not happen they have to increase their reproductive fitness isn't it the same thing when the when last week when i said that you hit a arrow at the leftmost bird all the nine birds probably might not have seen that arrow but certainly one has seen it right it is dead so their response is that no you ask the same question tenth bird fell okay ninth bird should it think that no i will stay because the arrow is going to the tenth one it can't right it is not going to stay that way it has to react similarly you ask the same question i said that 10 birds and one branch and 10 birds have a different feather sitting on different branch then how well the different birds we should start thinking no the arrow is going to that uh, that group of birds not to me so we don't have to move right now start thinking on increasing reproductive fitness here comes is the important truth okay martin o published a beautiful paper in 2005 science okay what you have read it in that uh, uh, what you have seen in the uh, elephant jumping into the pool you will see it here this is what you decided in remark i will jump into a river to save two brothers or eight cousins he anticipated that he will in later known as hamilton pool or is equal to c in the c by p it is a cost to benefit ratio okay and he described beautiful rules in the what circumstances cooperation can evolve okay structure then onwards the subject to, uh, took a, a beautiful excellent turn towards understanding phenotypic noise in bacteria phenotypic noise heterogeneity how heterogeneous populations can respond and we ourselves are working on antibiotic resistance in mycobacteria okay based on that thinking okay now i am going to cite a nature paper self destructive cooperation mediated by phenotypic mice it's one of a marvelous piece of mathematics i have ever read in my life okay i am so thrilled to read this paper but i would like to summarize the entire paper with a small story let's say there are 100 terrorists want to go and invade this fort when they go and break this fort okay every they will get some benefit so the idea was that first person goes blows himself up meaning is like a suicide bomber the rest 99 probably won't even know that one. okay one has gone two has gone three has gone four has gone like that all the hundred so now can you answer me when this is going to stop i know it is difficult for you okay you will not be able to answer this question easily but i can keep the mathematics same okay 
change the story okay you went and asked your pay your father or mother that i want 2000 rupees okay your father gave you on monday again on wednesday you went and asked him for another 2000 okay he gave another time 2000 so you went and asked him on the friday next is sunday next is again tuesday how many days that will go can you tell me now i am pretty sure all of your answer is going to be on monday itself we will i'll be asked 10 questions i said no questions asked how many times that will happen maybe once twice by the time you reach third time how much you, you will be calculating we will be calculating 6000 rupees because monday wednesday and uh, friday so parents will say no they will not give me correct but what should I, what are we supposed to look at in that one okay monday yes wednesday yes friday yes maybe next time no it's already three times here you may be looking at a cumulative amount of the benefit which you have received it okay it is a cumulative benefit you may be thinking that it is six thousand rupees but i'm not thinking in that way i'm thinking three times the probability of sacrifice which the, the person is making is three times yes so what happened on fourth attempt let's say after three times the fourth one he did not say no he said no i will not give it your parents said i will not give it then what happened on fourth day he cooperated three times to you by giving 2000 2000 but he defected on fourth time he said that i will not give this paper gives an excellent piece of mathematics Okay, which everyone should read. If you don't understand, read again. If you don't understand, read again. Uh, read till you understand. Here the important comes, point comes is that whenever the probability of sacrifice increases, okay, defection raises in the, to that one to stop the evolution of cooperation. That's called ESA, meaning system begins to defect okay that means that if the same question instead of 2000 rupees what would have happened to 10 rupees monday you ask 10 rupees wednesday 10 rupees maybe 100 rupees it's not painful it's not painful maybe it will go for another 10 days in all the 10 days i gave you 1000 rupees i'm sure your father parents will start shouting oh that's when you will see the probability of sacrifice kept on slowly increasing so a, a, a wise boy what he boy or girl will do is that he will not ask for 2000 rupees he will ask for small amounts but repeatedly repeatedly so that the probability of sacrifice okay doesn't look like because it doesn't look like increasing because you are looking at probability of sacrifice always has to be more meaning that the probability of saying yes i will give you you want to make it more rather than other person looking at magnitude of the sacrifice okay the most important part of this paper is the ess at what kind of probability defection will raise okay essentially in the very first payoff equation which i have shown you okay i said corporate corporate strategy has a b minus c cost okay i will probably roll back my slide B minus C. So whenever in a population member somebody is incurring the cost, he will grow slow. Okay. Imagine that wrong side driver always wins against a rule follower in the road map which I told you. Because the cooperator is always incurring a cost. So for him, whatever the benefit, he will always lose out. The defector, the wrong side driver always wins because he is incurring no cost at all. He is driving on the shortest route. So, what is the, how do we define this cost in bacteria? Okay, we have not been able to, but we know that it is constant. That means that, for example, you take in two bacteria, 
Okay, they are growing on a place, and one of them is incurring a cost. It is unable to grow faster. The other one is not incurring any cost, so it can grow much, much faster. Uh, sorry, the one that is incurring cost grows slow, whereas the one that doesn't incur any cost is growing much faster. So what happens? If you will see a differential growth phase in which eventually the fast growing population will dominate the entire population okay right and that's exactly what happens is in this that's exactly what happens is quickly the defection for example now imagine okay now i come back to the original slide which i have shown you i said that okay there are no policemen there is no on your surveillance and there are no barriers right now here i put a bacterium and one of the bacterium said that i will not make this protein compare it to another one which has to make the protein you know making a protein involves cost where is the cost involved in it has to spend 1 atp for every peptide bond right and to know whether that is amino acid is right or wrong it has to spend certain gtps because the charge amino acid has to enter the uh, ribosome loop test it whether that is right or wrong and then if it is right it goes forward if it doesn't right goes but whether that is right or wrong you always consume one gtp don't forget that okay very important so the one that is making this protein in your incursor cost whereas the other one says that i don't make this protein the same three conditions also apply here no policeman meaning there is no selection pressure there is no surveillance right there are no video cameras in this case then in this case there is no immune surveillance nobody is watching whether you are making that protein or not there are no barriers for him to go from this place to this destination there are no ditches no fence no barricades similarly just imagine that this is an agar place okay the best growing plate for it or even a liquid culture just imagine for the sake of imagination this agar plate is as big as the bacterium itself what will happen how much it can grow it can only grow probably 6 or 7 times reason if you put a 1 rupee coin you can only arrange 6 or 7 coin touching that center 1 rupee coin okay maybe a little the solid can grow that agar plate can only support that much amount of population so now compare it to that agar of that agar plate this agar plate which is 90 mm agar plate is how big compared to a bacterium infinity there is no barrier for it to defect you understand under such circumstances one has to ask i asked the question will this person stop and go back under those three conditions no will this bacterium goes back and expresses it this is an extremely important question which we are answering in our lab same thing is true maybe some of you have said about cancer a triple negative breast cancer is deficient of er okay estrogen receptor progesterone receptor pr her2 okay these are triple negative now we use ask a question in its lifetime it has reached a certain place will it go back and express each one of them that's an important aspect to think so this is what martin who i just mentioned in the absence of specific mechanism for evolution defection meaning when there is no policeman no surveillance no barriers okay people will tend to defect they will not drive on this side of the road if cooperation has to evolve they have to overcome the temptation for defection meaning that the bacterium should think that this is not the kind of environment you know why now i'll give you a question yes i plate it i grew it and everything become one type because they are all to me they are all defectors why the cause i supplied everything to them suddenly you change their environment then what will happen that's an important question which you have to think of right 
when you started growing with my father giving money or my mother giving money god say that one we don't want to imagine such situation suddenly money is stopped then what will happen my resource of my luck should be gone right so what how does this bacteria behave evolve cooperation for their survival because if you know that their path pathways to survival i can prevent pathogens that is the whole idea behind it okay so we were examining that how cooperation evolves you know i said that dramatic amount of work was been done in game theory using all sorts of thinking numerous varieties of thinking when you take a prisoner's dilemma game this is a play of matrix which we thought that it will look under such circumstances now we begin to look at in a two dimensional game theory okay one dimensional simple thinking is gone is over okay and right now we are looking at uh, a two dimensional game theory in a two dimensional game theory bacteria clump together okay and that's what we see in a microscope but when you put it in a snow drift game scenario i'm coming to that bacteria cooperative networks will form like thread they attach from end to end begin if i enlarge this portion you will see that one but exactly the same thing when they are infecting they actually behave like a thread this is called podding in mtd okay i think i have already spent lot of time in this now coming to game theory in pandemics and uh, pandemics this is what we are supposed to be learning right now we are in a midst of a big pandemic right remember this paper is published in 2010 what is this paper social distancing in response to a pandemic okay i will quickly go into the go into this original pay of this paper but please read it okay 10 years back not knowing that today one day this paper will be useful professor nagara suggested that why don't you just talk about it you know it's a piece of hard core calculus this is rate of changes okay this is i can describe everything but right now i don't have time okay but importantly i will tell this paper tried to estimate the cost of social distancing you can't social put a lockdown you can't maintain social distancing when is an optimum and when to do remember that everything was imagined even 10 years back so if somebody says that one read this sentence the results show that social distancing is most beneficial to individual for basic reproduction number around 2 you know viral reproduction numbers what is a viral reproduction r0 for covid virus 5.7 that means that one infected individual can happily infect 5.7 that's a very very powerful rate okay anything about two is very not not so good okay even one is not good 1.2 itself is not good but anything you once you cross the threshold it is it's not good okay in the absence of vaccination or other intervention measures optimal social distancing never recovers more than 30% of cost of infection now you last the question we are in unlocked down phase you know we are countries and getting heavy cost a lot of people are finding it difficult to get their monthly wages because they have to earn that is a cost so he tried to estimate it when to do that one and so how do you monitor how do you follow that kind of thinking okay this is actually called a differential game theory okay this differential game theory goes into time based changes in decision okay just maybe another point uh, i will probably discuss it remember that every gaming scenario need not have an ash equilibrium okay ash equilibrium but if you find it remember ash equilibrium cannot be broken easily by in biology okay unless specific ways of thinking evolves it. so here we they try to estimate what is a ash equilibrium scenario and felt that beyond a scenario social distancing is not working okay and that is what is the 
the crux of this important paper and that is the reason okay that is the reason we have now begun on lockdown in a controlled way remember the on lockdown began i think about 10 days back okay but we are right now doing in a controlled way because still of course we see cases are increasing okay cases are increasing and assuming that we will be having a vaccination probably soon if it does not coming any soon trust me tough situations will be ahead of us okay but i will i will discuss this thing with anybody who is uh, interested in okay now i am coming to end of my talk this is the guy who made john forbes nash okay a brilliant mathematician got no nobel prize for his work okay he, he, he finished his phd thesis in 1950 with a 28 page thesis on a non cooperative gains okay and probably i think one of the very few people who got two nobel prize equivalents one is a nobel prize in 1994 and the second one is able prize i think it was unfortunate that i on the day he died i was writing about a small story for younger kids on the same day when i saw in times of india news that jan nash died in a car accident he and his wife okay most importantly there is a movie made on his name russell crowe acted the movie is called okay it's a ron howard film very good nice director okay we don't have to take everything that what he has shown in the age is life but most of it about 80% of his life is pictured into uh, this movie called a beautiful mind see it it can it's a serious movie but enjoyable okay when does how does this snow drift game means i forgot to explain one important slide here probably i rushed it let's say you are driving on the road a heap of snow is present in india we see a tree fell on this road what would you do you can also get down move the snow he can also get down move the snow so that road is clear and both of you can home but you know if he got down and shoveling the snow are removing the tree no i want to sit inside my car it is raining i don't want to help him okay because once he clears the road okay i can also use the same road to go to my home but i don't want to help him i want to sit because when it is raining a tree fell on the road i want to sit so what will you do this is called a snow drift game all of you remember the song in the movie three idiots batiya was a kavu in that there is a line he makes his own road he doesn't wait for somebody else to make a road right i am not good at hindi but i can understand that one so a determined person who is working he will never wait for somebody else to create the road okay again game theory similarly when you are trying to do risky work okay risky projects are always a prisoner's dilemma but the reliable project always is a snow drift again snow drift dilemma so in my laboratory i look for people who goes on their own meaning i help them i will help them but i want to make sure that he doesn't need help from too many people he can do things on his own because such people cannot be stopped okay an important thing paul samuelson also worked on the concepts called public good they, they got both got the nobel prize around the same time uh, one of a brilliant guy who used game theory to get i uh, to get a nobel prize okay similarly i believe martin north is going to be on the line to win a nobel prize if ever it happens because the guy did very brilliant piece of work of course many others have also done okay, in our lab i we said nash equal be what will happen if it is a Yeah, uh, if it two strategies, okay, they will always oppose each other. Meaning that two gene expressions they go opposite to each other all the time, R and S. So we are now seeing how do I solve this problem? I see that this is an ethical thing. Okay, now let's imagine I am at the end of my talk. You have a perfectly balanced seesaw. Okay, absolutely no issue. and you have two identical weighing kids sitting on that seesaw how do they enjoy 
how can two seats sitting on an exact weight sitting on a perfectly balanced seat so can enjoy that is going up and down right to me the winning idea i will send them a gift okay my address is mvks at ncs how can these two kids weighing exactly can enjoy okay i think my talk is over i will take the general questions i'm done just now thank 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 you dr sastri thank you so much and it was a mesmerizing talk i must say that you know by relating to the these real life examples you have made uh, this trivial to topic very easy to understand and i'm sure most of uh, us will agree that the use of data science and game theory in designing strategies is quite clear to us now so um, we'll take a couple of questions sir uh, so there's a question uh, is apoptosis an act of altruism is apoptosis an act of altruism yes is an altruism more than an apoptosis i think in the cell uh, i would say that uh, autophagy absolutely okay apoptosis is actually you can say that it is a is a it's close to altruism no doubt okay but the decision to die happens it well before beginning of uh, apoptosis okay sure yes, it's a good question uh, so there's an interesting question on how this behavior of cooperation passes down generations and sure. uh, so for example if a monkey who doesn't give an alarm signal to another to and he saves himself first so will it also transfer to the future generations no it doesn't it doesn't no it, does, it did not learn that it has to shout it has to give an alarm call so how is it going to pass on to the next generation so that is an act of selfishness so a similarly act of cooperation or act of selfishness will that pass down to generation see, see listen the birds are running away right the tenth bird was hit what should nine uh, first and two uh, do should do they have to learn right so that means that giving an alarm call okay it is a when it runs away its progeny also learns that same alarm call right when the monkey troop run away the, the uh, offspring are always attached to the mother right uh, sir there's another question uh, the power yeah. of game theory goes away beyond the analysis of uh, simple games but complications do arise for example corona virus complications why so well, uh, I, i just repeat the last portion game so, theory the power of game theory goes way beyond the analysis of the simple relatively simple games but complications do arise so for example corona virus complication why so the complicate everything uh, i have not touched it because the reason is that audience are wise game theory has certain limitation game theory tries to imagine how a bulk of the population is going to behave just like the social distancing game that was played okay so you can predict saying that uh, you can predict to a large extent very very accurately but you can't make after all Uh, uh after all an accurate predictions in any scenario but game theory does okay here comes is the important cost what is the economic cost of social distancing and lockdown the lockdown is going to not be sustained no? and that is when this kind of the predictions go wrong sometimes okay so i don't want to get into uh, answering because we have done certain amount of calculations based on why and unlock down as beginning okay but we also felt that the benefits occurring to so, uh, social distancing in a pandemic like this is is the benefit may be true but the cost that is going to incur is much much more larger okay absolutely so it's much more larger i don't think we'll be able to bear that cost absolutely sir there is a last question that i'll ask quickly uh, so can we apply game theory to other concepts like phylogeny evolutionary studies concepts in microbiology etc so absolutely microbiology is very very uh, widely applied including our own lab right now we 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 are routinely thinking okay other scenarios even within a cell for example if i am picking up two networks 
should they cooperate with each other or not that is what we are saying i am showing the r and a they always oppose each other okay same thing you can apply okay but only you begin dissecting the scenario to a to a place where game theory will become to now easily you can apply that yes the answer is yes wow that's so great uh, so i guess that's it so since we have already uh, you know crossed the mark so i think uh, this is enough of questions but dr shastri uh, will be answering all your questions which will be sent to you uh, via emails uh, sure, i will Uh, i would again like to thank you dr shastri for such an interesting uh, uh, talk on game theory and its applications thank you so much uh, there are a couple of announcements for the attendees now uh, so uh, for our next session that is on 24 5th of june we have dr amit wutha from ohio state university the title of his talk is networks matter estimating the spread in heterogeneous connected environments uh another announcement regarding the feedback form so at the end of this you will you all will receive a feedback form uh, on your emails please fill them up and send back uh, following which the certificate of participation will be awarded to you i would uh, that's all from my end and again uh, thank you dr shastri and thank you all for attending this so we'll sure. see you okay see you all and wear mask and uh, keep yourself safe that's Abs all my absolutely. message yeah thank okay. you sir thank you Thank you and have a good day all yeah. bye bye